Namaskar sa Srikal Kumusta! Welcome to another vlog. In today's video, I'm going to show you my version of chicken biryani. So I normally start with frying the onions until it turns golden brown and then just set it aside for later. Next, the rice. I'm not going to wash and rinse it yet. I will just soak it with water and put it aside while we proceed to the next step. In a large pan, I put all my chicken pieces. I'm using drumsticks and I made some cuts so all the spices will really um, soak well inside the chicken. And then I add salt and instead of paste, I use crushed ginger, garlic and green chili. Then cumin powder and I also add red chili powder and Kashmiri merch powder. I also add garam masala, then black pepper powder, then white pepper powder, and I also add chicken biryani for extra flavor, but this is optional. Then of course the plain yogurt. Then some lemon juice or freshly squeezed lemon. I use one. So I wasn't able to find a kitchen gloves, so I'm using a surgical gloves. But this is new, so that is fine. It's clean. And now let's just mix all the ingredients very well. So all the pieces will evenly get the spices. I also add um, mint leaves with coriander. So I just blended it to make it a paste um, texture. Then again, mix it properly. And then I will just leave it in the ref for two to three hours. I think just two hours. And the next step, is our water so in a pan just add water salt oil and there is following um, spices first bay leaf then cinnamon stick then star anise and then cardamom seeds then mace and then black pepper, corn, and cloves. And then the rice. So make sure that you don't cook the rice 100%. Make sure it is uh, maybe half cooked. Yeah, I think half cooked is um, safest, like 50%. So just keep um, stirring your rice. So that's what I'm doing. And meanwhile, I will make my husband a cup of chai to know how or the ingredients in how to make a masala chai. Check out my video, it's on the screen. Now instead of saffron, I add turmeric powder to get that yellow color of the rice. But actually, saffron is a really good option because it adds flavor and color of the biryani. So now, let's check our chicken. I just added some oil and then some ghee. And then I'll just mix it once. So I already took off my surgical gloves. I'll just use a ladle 
to transfer the chicken so this is what I do instead of putting the rice at the top of all the chicken pieces I remove half of it so basically it's chicken rice chicken rice so that's what I'm doing so now I'll transfer the rice leave the water just transfer the rice and all the spices the bay leaves so this is the part where I layer the chicken and the rice and the color is so nice So I slow cooked the biryani for 30 minutes like the lowest level of the flame of your stove. Use that and 30 minutes do not open. So now I just pick up some mint leaves, fresh mint leaves for the garnishing and it adds really nice flavor to the biryani. So once you put all the mint leaves, add the fried onions actually my fried onions got burnt because you know vlogging is life and then some ghee ghee is a clarified butter by the way and i have vlog also in the screen so after 30 minutes of slow cooking our biryani i present to you my version of chicken biryani so we normally pair it with fresh sliced onion lemon and green chili but i don't eat the green chili so i also cooked some hard-boiled eggs and you guys if you try eating biryani if you want to try cooking it please let me know anything if you have questions in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is pinay in india reporting and eating see you on my next vlog bye stay safe